Welcome back to Preppers Paradigm, your go-to resource for practical prepping advice. We recently published a video about why bugging in is often safer than bugging out, depending on your circumstances and the type of disaster. Following on from that, this is the first video in a series about how to bug in. In this video, we're looking at how to keep your home secure after SHTF. In future videos in this series, we'll cover other elements of bugging in, such as long-term food and water supplies, hygiene and sanitation, and many more. If you find this information valuable, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel so you won't miss the rest of the series. Your support helps us continue providing you with essential prepping insights. Now, let's get started. In the chaos that follows a disaster, having a solid foundation of security measures in place can make all the difference. That's why it's crucial to prepare before SHTF. Firstly, carefully review your home security, including potential weaknesses. Do you have secure boundaries? Are all entry points secure? Are there locations where potential intruders could be hidden from view? Invest in sturdy locks, reinforced doors and windows, security cameras, motion sensor lights, and alarm systems. These tools will fortify your home and serve as deterrents to potential intruders. Cameras, lights, and alarm systems may not work after SHTF if there is no power, but they are vital for security in normal day-to-day -day life. Designate a secure room within your home as a shelter during emergencies, equipped with essentials like food, water, and medical supplies. Buy the materials that you will need to further secure your home when a disaster happens. For example, if you plan to board up windows after SATF, make sure you have the boards, as well as tools and hardware you will require. You could even get the boards cut to size so that they're ready to use immediately when needed. It's no use trying to buy things like that after the disaster has happened. Consider how you will protect the boundary to your property after SHTF. If you have a fence or a wall, ensure that you have spare materials and tools to repair or strengthen it. Consider the current entry points through the boundary. Plan how you will reinforce those after SHTF too. You may also want to plant some forny bushes around the boundary so it's harder for intruders to get past. If you plan to include weapons in your security strategy, and to be honest, that's probably a good idea. Ensure that you have the weapon stored safely but still accessible, as well as a stock of ammo and tools to maintain your weapons. Next, establish a plan with your household members. Decide exactly how you intend to respond in a variety of scenarios, including what will make you decide to bug in or bug out. For situations where you decide to bug in, plan the actions that will be needed to ensure your home is secure immediately after the disaster, as well as roles and responsibilities of each individual. Clear communication is key to staying coordinated, informed, and secure during a crisis. Lastly, conduct security drills regularly. Practice lockdown procedures and defensive strategies with your household members to ensure everyone knows their roles and responsibilities. Familiarity breeds confidence, and being prepared can help mitigate panic in high-stress situations. By taking these proactive steps before disaster strikes, you'll be well-equipped to secure your home and protect your loved ones after SHTF. If a major disaster happens, maintaining security in the ensuing chaos becomes an ongoing priority. Let's explore how to keep your home safe in the aftermath of a disaster. First, establish a perimeter around your property. Ensure that the physical barriers are in good condition to deter intruders and reinforce where necessary. A visible boundary can dissuade opportunistic threats and buy you time to react to potential dangers. Next, implement a watch schedule. Divide the day into shifts for monitoring the surroundings and maintaining vigilance against potential threats. Rotating duties among household members ensures continuous coverage and prevents exhaustion. Lastly, conceal your presence. Avoid drawing unnecessary attention to your location by keeping noise levels low and minimizing visibility from outside. Consider using blackout curtains or covering windows with opaque materials to prevent prying eyes from seeing inside. By proactively maintaining security measures after SHTF, you can enhance the safety and resilience of your home in uncertain times. When it comes to securing your home after SHTF, the approach may vary depending on whether you live in an urban or rural environment. Let's explore the differences and strategies for both scenarios. In urban environments, there are likely to be more people looting and stealing. However, there are potentially more people for you to work together with. Leverage the advantage of close proximity to neighbors. Form alliances and establish a neighborhood watch group for mutual support and defense. Secure access points and reinforce weak spots in apartment buildings or townhouses to fortify your living space against intruders. In rural environments, Leverage natural barriers like terrain and vegetation. Utilize fences, gates, and livestock to create a perimeter around your property. Form alliances with nearby homesteaders for added security and resource sharing. Additionally, maintain a vigilant watch over your surroundings to detect any signs of intrusion. 
Whether you're navigating the bustling streets of the city or the serene countryside, adapting your security measures to suit your environment is essential for ensuring the safety of your home and loved ones after SHTF. Remember, prepping is about being proactive and prepared, not paranoid. By following these guidelines and staying adaptable to changing circumstances, you can ensure the safety and security of yourself and your loved ones when bugging in after SHTF. Stay vigilant, stay safe, and stay prepared. Until next time, this is Prepper's Paradigm, signing off.